the way itself has come to you. Arise and walk. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel we hear Thomas the Apostle asking a question to Jesus. How can we know the way? For which Christ replies, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to Father except through me. After reading this Gospel, especially this particular verse, a question may arise in our mind that how can Christ be the only way to God? The answer for this is, when Adam and Eve sinned, by not obeying God, humanity lost its harmony with God. No efforts made by humans could suffice to bring back this lost harmony. Finally, out of love for the humanity, God gave us His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who took the form of flesh and dwelt amongst us. And by dying on the cross, He Himself bore our sins and He brought back the harmony between God and us which once was lost. Thus, Christ becomes the way to the Father. My dear brothers and sisters, Christ is the way and this is the truth. This is what the early Christians believed. They courageously walked the way and as a result, they were not called as Christians, but the people of the way, because they lived the way. They lived the way by imitating Christ, by doing as He commanded, love one another, John chapter 13 verse 34. And by living the way, they could show the truth to others. Even today, we find many people who do not accept this truth, that Christ is the only way to the Father. And we also know that truth is sometimes bitter. It is not that easy to accept. So the only way to show them the truth is by walking the way as our early Christian brothers and sisters did. The world today needs the way more than ever. And today, Jesus invites us to follow Him. As St. Augustine writes, The way itself has come to you. Arise and walk. Let us then, my dear brothers and sisters, walk the way and bring many people to Christ, for He is the way, the truth and the life. Music